Hi guys, just going to do a, um, a short stream about uh, spinning retrieval uh, mods. Uh, I've started this just before um, just before the sun comes up. Hopefully you can see the uh, line. Uh, I've got a spoon on and I'm in the 12 meter hole on the Kuara Lake. Um, so um, a friend of mine, uh, I think it's Mikey200 or Mikey200, uh, uh, he wanted to know how to get a, a dig step going in a deep uh, pool. So we have, there's a few ways of doing it. Um, if you can see the line, which hopefully you can, uh, by reeling in the line lifts and then stopping it drops back to the it drops back to the riverbed uh, lake bed dependent on how heavy the lure is will depend on how how much speed we need on our reel to lift that um so i'll let it drop into the pool as you can see the angle of the lines going down hopefully you can see that that's like a 45, even a, a, a 50 degree uh, slant on the line. Um, the line speed I've got pretty high. Um, could even go higher. Don't be scared of going to the maximum. And even on some heavy lures, presses shift as well. Um, so the, the idea is to just bump it across the bottom. Um, dependent on, on what speed, you can see that's getting the jig the jig uh, step and all, all I'm doing is just enough to um, if if I reel in as you can see it's doing the jig set if I reel in completely without stopping you'll see the line lift to the left if you can see it's lifted to the left a lot and then if I stop it'll swing back down that's exaggerated um, what you are trying to do is just get a, a very very tiny little bump so that it, it raises off the floor and then drops again so i'll show it again um and dependent on a, how you know the conditions you won't need this much speed if you've seen me uh, stream on uh, volkov river um that has a quite a, a, a current going on there and uh, i only need speed of four on the reel to actually get the lure this this same lure that I'm using 44 on is it 42 44 using 44 on to lift so dependent on we can go around once or we can dependent on that's bumping off the ground and that's lifting up and then dropping back down I don't know if you can see the the line it's lifting a little bit to the left and then dropping back down and uh, we just bump it and that's all all the jig step is uh lift and drop really um and, and we just get into a little bit of a rhythm so it's one leave one one leave one one leave one that sort of thing obviously we lost the uh we lost the but we still get it back you know just play about with it and um that's the jig step if i slowed it down a little i can show it with a slower speed um the more you the more you reel the the further it comes off the uh, lake bed um i can slow slow it down and possibly still get the the same result but having to reel a few times around the reel let's see if i can get it with a slower speed um right we've gone to the floor so to get this to lift now let's see if it lifts it that's not lifting it you see yeah it is it's just lifting it so dependent on the how far you want it to coming off the uh, late bed depends on the speed and how you retrieve um 
if I retrieve a few times round, you can still get the, you know, the stop, you know, the jig step, but it's dropping, it's dropping to the ground. Altering the angle. Okay. I didn't want to play that time. <laughs> What we're doing is reeling and reeling in until it's lifted off the floor and then dropping it back down on the floor. That's that's basically what's happening. So let's see if we can get this going with this speed without catching it. <laughs> no looking for Sean, guys. It is a deep hole, that. <laughs> it's coming up with the, with the bends, isn't it? Good pike. Okay, let's try again. Okay. So, depending on water conditions, uh, if there's a current, you won't need as much real speed. Uh, if it's a lighter lure, what lifts, you won't need as as much uh, real speed. But that's thirty. So yeah, uh, if I press shift on that 38, I increase the increase the uh, real speed, and yeah, you, basically it takes it up, you know, by about 10. Not really good demonstration on this uh, deep pool, but you can see we're getting the jig step occasionally. Um, I'll increase the speed, and I should get it all the way across the. Um, in fact, uh, I've, uh, that's the that's the drag. That's the drag. Uh, don't be scared of using full full you know the full speed. E and even if it's a very heavy lure in bad conditions, even using full speed and shift press to get even more more speed. Um, I'm just ex exaggerating the. Uh, from one side to the other. obviously it depends on the gear ratio of the the gear ratio of the reel and you get the feel of you get the feel of the of the line lifted and dropping i'm actually moving about i think either that or my boat's moving Let's take a step coming. What's that helping the boat moving around? I've dropped the anchor. I must have done that one to be able to stand up. So it's in box of index step, right? And we just do it again, tick step, bounce it again. And play about with the speeds, obviously um, 30, 38 was a bit low, or 34 was a bit low, 50 is a little bit high, so the Goldilocks zone for that would be probably 42, something like that. Somewhere in between. And, and once you get your you know, once you get were well, you happy with everything? Obviously, I'm on a boat spinning round and I've got a bite. <laughs> Give this lure a try, guys. Uh, it does really, really well on uh, Volkov uh, River. Go um, grailing. Okay. I don't know why I'm spinning round, but <laughs> it's. Uh, Make a bit strolls up actually. Okay. Right, we've dropped into the deep pool again. Okay, we're on forty two now, so one and lift one, one. Let it drop. One. Let it drop. One. Let it drop. One. Let it drop. One. 
let it drop um let it drop um and you can see it the the now i got it to run them but you can see that it we, we got it across most of the to near of underneath us uh it's look a bit harder on deeper water but you will get it and we've got our little fish on at the bottom of that so that's a jig step um which uh a friend asked how was it achieved uh obviously if if the reel's not fast enough or you don't have a real speed and a gear ratio fast enough to get the enough inertia to lift the the spinner off the ground it will just drag across the bottom which will catch fish uh you know but to get the actual display of jig step that's what you have to do okay um and then so we'll move on to uh stop and go which is uh i couldn't get before this week um stop and go is achieved by keeping it the lure off the ground um either by using floating lures like the floating where is it right the flo floating <laughs> this will be a, a mouthful the floating funky minnow <laughs> How to get this this lure works by being retrieved and it sinks to a to a, a depth. So this is used for mid to top water fishing. But if you stop on the way up, you get the stop and go. You see it, and then reel it down. I don't know if you can see it in in the shadow of the water there. Uh, that's the action of it. Can you see the lure coming up? The action of that, basically, it's working between mid and top water. So I'll I'll do a cast out there, see if we can see it across across that. And uh, what speed? Something like uh, well, I usually go about four turns, and then let it come up, and then when I see the name, I do it's a little bit faster. Um, let's try 28. Okay. I usually reel about four times to get the depth of the thing. And when I see the display, I, I, re I reel another three times. And then every time on the way up, usually, I may have to slow it down a bit more, but every time on the way up, you can see the, the action on the lure. Uh, every time on the way up, one, two, three... On the way up, we should just stop and go when you've got when you've got the right speeds and the so we didn't get that time. So we'll slow it down a bit more. But it, it it's it's a stop and go method uh, that doesn't let the lure touch the ground. So I take it I reel in for a short while to get the depth of the diving lure, and then on the way up we usually get one two three four right that should get the first step and go going right and then sorry stop and go then my next one is a shorter three i've still not got it completely right yet one two three there's the stop and go so when the name goes on one two three something like that there's the stop and go one, two, three. No, not get on this one, it will be a bit shorter. Okay, so that's working uh, the floating funky minnow from mid water. I think the depth is four meters uh, from the surface down to four meters. Now, the sinking funky minnows work from the they'll sink straight to the bottom but once you start reeling them in they'll go to the mid water to the four meter depth or whatever the mid whatever the spoon's made to dive to um so same again you need to let it sink but not touch the bottom when it's near to touching the bottom you reel in again so i reeled a bit too far then actually but there's a stop and go reel again one two three might have reeled a bit too much for that one. 
But anyway, you've seen the display. That that's you'll have to play about with it, different speeds and stuff. Let's see if I can get it on a. Let's see where I'm at. Twenty. Let's try it. Twenty-eight. Not sure if I had it on twenty-eight before. But let's get it out and let's get a bit of a stop and go going. I usually turn the uh, rod to the side. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Maybe too fast. I'll we'll try it with two, see if that two zip will get it. No. Too fast, that. Don't want that. Let's try. A bit slower then. You see, it's. It did it that time, three times. That last one was a bit too close. So we'll do that as a long cast. This is a stop and go. Um, obviously, I didn't want it to be too, too long, uh, but... Yeah, that's, I think that's as good as I'm going to get that retrieval with that one. Um, that one more or less all the way in, except the last one. So that's the stop and go on the surface uh, with the floating, floating uh, funky minnow. Uh, we have, uh, sorry, I can, I can show you, in fact, I'll leave that one on because this is a, I'll just show you twitching with both the, both of these. Uh, twitching is just um, reeling in at a certain speed and hitting the right button every second or so. You can see the twitching's come on already. Uh, so that's now gone floating, well, it's down at the depth but look in the top water, it's trying to float up and then we twitch it back down to the four meter mark or whatever it's looking at, looking mark it. So that's twitch um, with the floating gear. I'll do one more for you. Um, it's a continuous, it will look uh, both, if you wanted to do a longer, if you want to, if you lose the twitch, uh, logo, just point the rod a little bit more to it and alter the gap between pressing it and you will get it. The Twitch is one of the easier ones to get. Um, that's Twitch uh, with the floating thing. I'll do stop and go with the sinking, which is this is the hardest one I've found to try and get. I'll swap that with the Uh, the sinking, so the S11 and the, that S stands for sinking, I take it, and the F floating. So this is a sinking lure. If I cast it in and leave it, it will go to the, go to the bottom of the lake. So we'll do that first. Um, I'll try and watch your line so that I know that it's, it's sinking. Yeah, it's going down the line's going down and it should notify as I touch the bottom in a bit. 
just so that you know it's sinking all the way up. It's still going, guys. <laughs> That's a long way down. Okay. That is more or less 60 degrees down there. That's pretty. And one, two, three, four. That's bringing it up in the water uh, layers. And I'm not sure whether I can get it with this angle, but I'll have a go. May need to be more uh, a flatter direction. Um, I'll, I'll bring this back up and cast a little bit further out to give me a, a less steep angle. Because I'll probably be doing uh, twitching at that depth anyway. Twitching, and I'm not not changing about because I'll try. I'm trying to get the stop and go. I'll just speed this up a little. Okay. Um, it's got to do with the amount of dropping through the water it does for this stop and go. I've not got the speed yet, so... Seems to be... I don't think there is a current in here, but it, it doesn't seem to be right under the rod tip. It seems to be trying to get under the boat, you know, as if I'm the centre of uh, the cast. Uh, let's see if we can get this going. Okay. By reeling really, I mean, it should take it to its working depth and then start sinking. So one, two, three, four. It might be a bit faster, actually. Um, there's our stop and go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Still feels a little bit fast. One, two, three. You did see the stop and go there. It, it all depends on uh, getting your right real speed. and But this is a sinking lure what's displaying stop and go. Okay, I'll try again with a slow speed. Uh, just a bit. Let's try on 25. Which is a good twitching speed for these uh, donkey minnows. I'll just, I'll just try the stop and go again. I did get it with the uh, three times actually. I'll try one more time and uh, see if I can get it all the way across. This is a, the other one I've found to get going, but um, and then I'll show you two more and then we, we're at the. Then, so by reeling it, it takes it down to the its working depth. And let it sink till it displays the stop and go and then one, two, three. And they want to see the display. Three. Two and a bit. You get the idea, I think, guys. So that's the stop and go with the sinking lures. And I'll show you the twitch now with this. Uh, 20, 25 is a good speed for the S11 Funky Minos. I um, not did a full cast there, but basically uh, I'll show you aiming at it. Uh, it's just a 
and it you know you can go you can go quite fast actually you will lose it if you go too fast but you see how that was going quite fast then and you can go slow you can see it's quite a uh, quite a vigorous sort of jerk you know the twitch in there uh, depends on which speed you're doing and the angle of your rod. I mean, you can do the twitch right out forward and it it doesn't move it as much, you know, and you can still still get a twitch going, maybe a little bit side on. That's the twitching. Okay, not so many to go now. Um, I don't think I need to show that again. One more. got into a fish guys um A small part, guys. A nice uh, way to move on to the the next stage, which is floating lures. Um, I think we're all short of two. There's two. Um, two we've not shown. Uh, I'll show these straight. Um, obviously, you put a, a lure on. Um, what do we want? A lure like this, and we cast it out. Somewhere like that. And you just have it sideways and you've got the speed, you probably slow it down a little bit. And you've got your straight retrieve. This will catch. If you let it sink to the bottom and do this stop and go, uh, you will get jig step. So um this is lifting through the water thing, so you can just let it drop a little to, to you know, to cover the water. Um, I can just about see it. I think we've got we've got one on. I think, yeah. So that's just straight retrieving, guys. Uh, the fish, the fish is there, and we might as well do the other here as well. We. We have, that was straight retrieve, and coming up to the last one, I do believe that I know, uh, that I can show you, is um, the popper walking walking on the surface like. Um, it's basically a twitch uh, with a floating lure on. Um, over there, I don't know if you can see the, the lure, but you should be able to see the water just displacing and that's it all it is guys it's a continuous retrieve uh it doesn't have to be continuous you can up the speed of your reel and and hit the left and right button together and then leave the right and, and let go of the right and left button simultaneously like a click 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 that sort of thing but this is continuous uh reeling in it does very well at the bottom of the uh, 
he should be able to see fish come to this actually. Um, let's see if we can get a pike to come up to it. If you see the reflect, you know, you can see through the fish. This will be the end of the stream, guys. If I can get into a fish, it's a big good way to end the. Uh, I usually do this between 10 and 20. Um, that's walking the dog. Um, I suppose you could do the tr straight retrieve on top. I haven't caught any. I've actually not fished it straight retrieve on top. I've always done okay with the... But that's the straight retrieve on top. It's like a waking sort of... You know, it puts a wake on the... So I've not tried that. Um, and you could also stop and go with it. I mean, you could have it... Uh, you could have your real speed full... From what the description says, it's a, it's a popper style lure. So you could actually increase the speed right up and use the actual, you know, you can see it now, it's displacing. You could actually do a stop and go really fast like that. Even faster, pressing the, uh, pressing the, that's uh, giving the walk in the dog without actually. Now that's doing the walk in the dog without actually pressing the the right button. I was I was doing it with speed instead of uh, so there's the walk in the dog without without pressing the right button. I wonder what you get when you when you press the right button there. Nothing. <laughs> okay. So walk in the dog. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. Move over to one of my favourite places. This is one of my favourite ones. Uh, actually, it's it's just the edge of that last reed. There's a drop-off shelf. Um, I'm actually about to show you the two places that... I'm actually about to show you the two places that I uh, have a lot of joy. Um, by joy, I mean I catch quite a few fish. And why we can see through the water, and that's what I'll show you exactly what I mean, which peg. Um, just at the edge of this, as if we drive back into this, near the boat and this last thing, over this edge, there should be a ledge. Uh, can you see the ledge? I bet you can't see it. It is there. I'll stand up to see if you can see it. Okay, let's see if we can stand up. Can you see the ledge? Uh, it's just there. Not sure if you can make it out. There's a ledge. I usually get my boat right on that ledge. Uh, I'm a little bit, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll put it exactly where I usually fish. Then, you, then you've got a starting point to, to go to. So I just have to sit down again. Um, you can just about see the ledge there. So uh, just over there a bit more. There we go. Okay. There's the ledge underneath it now. I'll move us back a bit. Okay, that's about about where I usually, a bit closer actually, I usually do, but you can see, you see the ledge there, it's like a drop off shelf, it's not as visible today as, as usual days, but I fish this with uh, poppers and uh, wobblers, and I usually get, you should be able to see the fish come up to the, to the lure, let's see if it's right, around the right, just, just I, I used to go a little bit closer to the shelf. But that might be a bit too fast. It's around the 90 mark, I think. I have this. Um, but you should see if you should see fish spawn just underneath and and swimming from the sides if, if anything decides to take it. It's a uh, it's, it's the right conditions. Nice sun. There you see it spawn that fish, and then we got the fish. So that's walking the dog, guys. Um, 
very uh, pleasing, uh, rewarding uh, method. This you can actually see the fish coming up and taking the the top water lure. It's so I'm still re uh, flicking a bit fast, but you get it a bit slower than that, and you will catch. Like one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe one second and then pause a second. Let's see, near that boat, I do. I do get a few around that boat. Okay. Um, I'll have another few casts. And I have missed a few as well, where some have just swum up and had a look and then changed the mind, and one of them looked absolutely, looked like a crocodile under, or an alligator. It was massive pike come up, and uh, to what the other fish, when you see the other fish, like the, uh, like the grail in uh, coming up and taking in the small perch, when you see the... Uh, the animation of the pie going to it what's you know some of the I've, i think my biggest is five and a half which is not you know it's i think it's just half the size they do come in here um when they actually do it's a it's a great you know ai and graphics the fish the fish are in the hunter mode you can see them uh, checking out the lure and stuff it's really great They've done a great job on the uh, fish mechanics of of this game, and the line and the you know the physics of the line and everything feels right. Except the price of gear. <laughs> That's my only uh, winch. Not winching in this one. Sorry, guys. Okay. So um, lures I do top water lures. I've showed you all the retrieves. I think that's the end of the retrieve sort of. These are the good. These are good lures that I do well with. The, the yellow pop has been pretty good for me. Getting uh, medium-sized pike and uh, good perch. Good. Uh, been getting some Arctic char, and you can see it's walking the dog. So it's it's basically the twitch on top of the water. Um, while the days. Uh, still young, I'll take you to the other one more cast, and then I'll take you to the what I call the pike basin, which is just further down the reeds, uh, so that you can cast it all the you can actually cast it all the all the reeds from one point. You're like the center of the clock, and the reeds are all like the numbers going around the clock. So no matter which direction you face, you can be you can be fishing sort of thing. Uh, we didn't do anything on that, so sit there. If the am I sat down? I still stood up, but looks a bit okay. And I go to that's the end of uh, all the you know. The little basics, you can see the shells dropping off and a bit of deeper water here. If you, I call this pipe basin uh, for my own. I've done okay, I mean, at them beginning reeds there and, and fishing into the reeds. But a, a place I've just found really uh, fruitful is this aiming just around here, just aiming for that last. I might be a little bit too far away actually, but there's an actual shelf that comes up here. Um, we're a little bit far from that one, but you get the idea. If you place it, as you can see underneath, there's, there's like a blue, a blue shell. If you see it more, it's that blue sort of granite, sort of rock formation. Um, turn off the engine, yeah. Okay, um, so I don't know if we can reach it casting, but from that rock all the way around all the way around to even them last once you get your skill levels up you'll be, be able to reach them but anything from the uh sorry for spinning guys 
anything from there is fair game sort of thing. This is one of the best uh, retrieval points I've had for for Pike, and um, you should see something spawn and, and come up and take the lure. It's a great angle to see the fish come and uh, so hopefully it's not too late and we do get a few few fish before the end of the stream um, obviously I give it a couple of casts at different directions because they're not always where you want them to be fish do move about uh, that's another thing guys uh, <clears throat> I'm not catching here at this moment when I've just started catching and you could come here and cast them and catch this, you know, the first time and have a great day. I fished this earlier on and did really well on it. So they may have moved on. The bites may be a bit lower. Um, very the right click on this retrieve. I'll just put, well, I, I bought a new lure. I'll, I'll try the new lure while we're, at, while we're here. Um, lures I've found really good. Uh, recently uh, these I think that's is that my new one that's the new one where I've, I've not caught a fish on that I've caught fish on that one and, and this one caught a five and a half pike on that one kilogram that's my new lure so let's see if if it can get a fish for the end of my stream without losing it in the reeds if it goes in the reeds guys I'll be switching the game off for anybody who doesn't know and if they get stuck in the reed rather than break a rod or anything, uh, just quit the game, press escape, come out the game. It'll restart you at the big, at the spawning point for that level, but um, you won't lose your line and you won't lose your expensive 43 silver lure, you know. So don't take the risk of snapping. I mean, do what you want, obviously, but if my advice is don't take the risk, I'll slow this down a bit around 13 uh, play with these speeds guys um, and, and how many twitches you put in the retrieve maybe miss one of the second if I'm doing one miss one one miss one one and I'm continuously reeling at speed of 13 put put one twitch in every second and then the next time put only well, we put two of you know, maybe miss the third, every third one or something like that. Okay, we're not getting many bites there. If I'm too far away from the reeds, I think I was getting bites being right on the weeds. So don't be, you know, don't be scared of casting right to the edge of the the reeds. We're looking for a, a nice big pike. Oh, there, there, can you see it? There we go. It's not that big, but it's nice. And it's great fun because you see the AI kicking in now and making it fight and change direction. Tried to tail flip, and you see it. I don't even think that's uh, written in the game, but with being on the edge of the tail walk, whatever they call it, with being on the edge of the line, I helped it tail walk. Then. Okay, guys, that would be the end of the stream, but like every fisherman that I know, one last cast. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've christened the uh, Lura bot. Very happy with that. I'll give it a, a full session, full session uh, soon. That's my dog. What sounds like a, like a train? She's sniffing at the door. Okay, guys. Okay, that's the end of the stream. After this cast. <laughs> and uh, at least we've covered the full uh, clock, you know, how far we can cast round in the arc. Um, obviously, you could, you could cast out into midwater as well. But it's great fun. Give it a go, this guys. It's, uh, it, it's I, I have done well on it, but it's not as you would catch more trolling. You would catch more trolling. Um, I have done. Um, I have caught more trolling, but.
trolling can get boring um, when I do it anyway anybody who's catching all the time is not going to get bored trolling but um, this is fun because you get to looks like a, I might have got a penny drop then <laughs> I think I've got a message of some um, I'll just bring this in guys unfortunately I've only got one screen so I have to drop out and uh, check with the messages I can see we've got a message I think that was our first one um, let's have a see uh, trust me not be able to read it that's small thanks for the stream ah you're all right uh, Mikey um, yeah I've, I've, there's uh, there's everything in there um, it shows more or less all the retrieves uh, you can skip the last 10 minutes it's just me having uh, fun with the with the top water lure um, but thanks for dropping in uh, my, I, I think it, is it Mike Mikey or Mike K um, 200 thanks for uh, thanks for the idea I did do a very rough uh, I did do a very rough version of of this. Unfortunately, the stream didn't manage to complete. So um, this is like a second demo of the um, of the you know the types of retreats you can do that I know. If you know any uh, any more, um, might um, just drop it in the chat if you want or. Uh, message it on YouTube I think this uh, I think this does uh, on YouTube as well as uh, Twitch uh, I'm using Restream to stream to both but uh, no problem mate uh, if it's I hope it's hope it's of use to you pal I'll be uh, bringing this in and I'll, I will weigh the fish we've got with not that so many we've got a we've got a few we've had some I've had a lot of fun actually making this one and hopefully it'll be of uh, use to you. We've caught a few fish demoing the different techniques and we'll get back. Can I just see that last message? Yeah, um, Is that pike positions uh, interesting? Uh, you'll cap if you go round with the boat in in, in between each, in between each little gap you can find of them reeds. I've 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 had different days where one clumps work really well and then not much ever. So work that, go forward and back, work it, and uh, then drop off. It's great to it's great fun to be working on top water and see the pike come up that shelf and take the lure and, and it's it's got uh, I, I think last time I did it I got a a six kilogram uh, Atlantic uh, not Atlantic sorry um, it'd be an Arctic char or something like that or not the Arctic char the other one uh, the silver uh, char is it Hi Zeus, I'm uh, just making a bit of a, a, a... Ah right, yeah, thanks Mike. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them a go through. Uh, I've only, I, I call this Pike Basin because this is, this is a main area I've used, but um, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you'll find use to these and I, I'll be I'll be working more, I'll be buying more top water lures and, and trying to see what we can get out. And obviously, you've seen the deep water stuff. Yeah, I've, I've it's it's great fun, Mike, this uh, this corner because it, it, I seem to leave it out when I'm doing the trolling. I'll, I'll go round where, I'll, where it shallows off and get the ledges. I've already turned my boat round, so the reed part, I don't actually cover right at the edge with trolling. I, I follow the deeper waters with the trolling. 
yeah, it's a good one. It, it really does work well. Um, actually, I, I, I had a, it was the first time I bought the floating uh, funky minnow. Then funky minnows and floaters uh, are really good. Just just reeling them in four times. What colours work best and why is pretty muddy, so I'm thinking bright colours should work. Yeah, you're right, since so, um I've not done much spinning on, on, on uh, Winding River. Um, I know Sasquatch and uh, there's a guy called, uh, I, I know he's, he's, he's German, and but you can watch it. Uh, there's a guy called uh, Pantafell, I think it, his name is, and he's got, He's he's done a lot of spinning on that on that river, but I don't mind going back and trying, um, trying you know trying different lovers now. I've 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 spent and got a few lovers together. Um, from what Jean said about colours, he said, um, Jean said, on bright days when it's sun shining. Uh, obviously, you, you're in a you're in a flow, you know you're in moving water and it's got colour and everything. Um, but what he what he said was, uh, if I hopefully I've got this right, if I've got it wrong, it's completely off of it. Uh, but he said when the sunshine was was out and it's a sunny day, use the glittery gold silver colours and that would reflect under the water and attract fish. But he said at night and, and times of overclouding cast where the sun's not actually there to actually glint off the cooked bright colours. He, he said use vibrating lures like spinners, um, wobblers, uh, things what will move in the water more. Uh, darker colours what will actually show a shadow rather than a, a, a bright glitter, you know. So that was one interesting, uh, interesting. That's Lady of Streams, uh, Zeus. If you watch Lady of Streams, um, streams on, on uh, YouTube and Twitch, uh, she's actually one of the affiliate English uh, members of Russian Fishing Forward now. She works for them, and she's been make, having question and answers with Gene, the owner of the game. And he's been he's done four up to now, and the they're, they're in the, the playlist. You will be able to watch all four. And there's a lot of answers to the early part of the game because it's still beta stage, you know. And that, um, yeah, uh, Mike, you you're right with that. Um, F for floating and S for sinking. Both have have uses. Yeah, the use the uh, S's for the deeper water and. Uh, I, I said middle to bottom water uh, f for the S yes, um, funky minnows and F for the mid to top water. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. It's something I don't actually do in real life. I've done it when I was younger, you know, the spinning and stuff, the lure fishing. Um, but I'm more of a, a feeder fishing and, and match fisherman sort of thing. All right, Zeus. All right. So uh, don't forget to write out which spoon it was, uh, Zeus. I'll be going trying that. <laughs> uh, the dark, the dark colors, yeah. Uh, some, some days uh, you can get exactly the same conditions and some days uh, a lure what worked brilliantly yeah I've, one I've been I don't know what level you guys are on but one lure I've been doing really well with at night was the gold um, crankbait on um, on the level 20 water is it the um, Volkov the Volkov River um, yeah, well, you're you're right, Mike. I've uh, I've seen on the records that the 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 red light spinner I bought. I think I've got one actually. Um, if we look in the records, uh, you do know that obviously. Um, you've got records for all the waters here. Um, 
these are just the English ones. Um, but this is our server, you know, so... Uh, the... The catfish... The catfish, where's the catfish? The catfish on the... It, well, the, it's gone up very good, whoever that is. Medic. Medic! <laughs> uh, he was in the uh, Lady of Games stream uh, the other day, helping out and answering questions. That on the Russian server is 83 kilograms. I've not a clue where they get that out. That must be what the rusty boat's for, lifted out of the water, because <laughs> that's, that's massive. I've tried for these with these lures. Uh, not sure if they're... Uh, thingy. What, were, what, were that? what were we looking for? The char, weren't we? Um, uh, we've got them, haven't we? We've got that one. Just going to let the grail in. These are the ones that's been coming out. Now, on the uh, Russian... Is, is that an S, S4? Yeah, that one on the Russian server is nearly... It, it's the master on, of everything. In some of the fish, it's actually all the way down. Uh, oh, I'm going to get kicked out my boat. <laughs> I'm not watching the game. Looks like I'm getting kicked out my boat, guys. Although it'll take us to allow us to uh, weigh our fishing. Uh, let's see. I'll put things right away, then I can get it without thinking. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Reporting. Right, so I might as well weigh the fishing we managed to catch. Um, this uh, stream has turned out very nice with the friends who were in chat. Um, it, it started off as a, a basic demonstration of, of the types of retrieves we can get with what what I've managed to, to you know, read and, and, and find and play about with. And they all have the, you know, they all have the place and it, it helps to work different depths of water and, and different way. I've seen a lot of people just retrieving, which is fine, they're catching. Uh, but if you know all the methods, try them all, you know, it, it, it's another feather in your cap or whatever they say. Um, not, not, not a lot though, you know, but, but it was good fun, it, same, we weren't actually setting out to catch fish and we still caught fish. So, uh, that's okay. Um. All right, I'll just check that um, with your mic. Is that the one I, I have? I'll just go to the game. Um, I bought it because I saw it in... Is it that one? Yeah. Um, is it the same one? There's two types. I think there was the 15 and... Oh, I don't know why I'm guessing. I could go... Uh, I seem to spend more than I make, though. That's that's my problem with this game. I really need to, to, to get better... I need, really need to get better... Um, oh, I need a better reel and... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think you're right, the, uh, the lures, there were two types of that red lure, I think, if I'm right, which I can also be wrong. Uh, is it these? Is it that one and that one? Let's have a see. There's the red 28. That's what I mean. There's the 28.6. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're right, Mike. Uh, there's two types of, of that set, similar lure, so I do mean to get to get both the the Slingshot 15.6 and the 
Um, slingshot 28.6, is it? That one. Yeah, so I think in the records, uh, it, it was both of them was uh, was catching last time I looked. Um, it was one of the child and text. Um, is it that one? It was one of the child. Oh, let's try it right there. Let's try it maybe. No, I think you just told me what it was. <laughs> and then that's the way. No, that one. Just um, me not be able to find it now when you want it. I'll have a look at the trouble. <laughs> We've got, yeah, um, I will give it a go, Mike. Mike, do you stream or, or Zeus if you're still in the uh, in the stream? Do you uh, stream or anything that we can check your videos or your channels out? Um, I, I don't mind, uh, you know, following you guys and and watching. I watch at them. I definitely saw that red. I definitely did see the red lure in one of these. Maybe they'd been pushed out with these new new records. Maybe it was in the weekly uh, and not in the. That's the ball cover of the insect. Um, oh, that's weekly of all the lot. It must have been in here. <laughs> yeah, got a lot of pennies dropping. That's the really, um, uh, All right. Is that your name? No, I don't stream. Sorry, I'm just going off your uh, name then. I thought you were sending me your, your link. Sorry. Uh, this is Mighty Thunder Tube. Okay. Okay. So what level are you, mate? Uh, are you are you on Winding River for the first um, time? Uh, there is a there is a pool at the back uh, on Winding River. What if what's worth giving a go? Um, if you if you want to go for uh, for bream and 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 still water roach and stuff uh there's there's like a, i can't bring up the map but um whether there's a the fast river if you go over the bridge and walk right keep keep to the right over the hill um and keep tight uh, there's a there's a lake like a lake in the river what has no no moving moving water and it's really good for um tench Bream, and that I did all right in there. Um, Lady of Streams has got a, a, a video of a, a, you know, a, a stream of that. Yeah, mate, you should have a go at doing videos. Uh, they, they've got capture software as well, but um, if you've got a well, a microphone, you know, you don't even have to mic it really, um, just uh. There's a free software called OBS, and basically, it just it's just like a studio where you just tell it what to do. There's uh, tutorials on, on how to use it. I've not, I've only been streaming just over a week now. I've never done it before, and um, the the software is easy to pick up. Uh, you just tell it to capture the game full screen, uh, which it tells you which game, and then you go through the list. Uh, of your desktop games, what you have and and stuff, and and you pick Russian Fisher Four, and then when you start streaming, it actually captures that game until you stop, and so it's really easy. And and, and while that's, you know, while that's uh, capturing the stream, it's uploading it to you can you can send it to both YouTube and thing, and it's it's good fun. It's good fun. It's good for. Uh, All right. Do you, do you prefer spinning uh, zoos? Because on that river, I got most joy um, fishing for chub uh, at one of the. You know, I've not got my levels, but I don't mind going back to. to I don't mind going back to Winding River and and trying a few lures out. You know, I, I don't mind it if you 
if you want to call back in a few days i'll try and get a stream up on uh, there are streams up if you type in uh winding river or, or whatever it were called in russian because it's only just people might not have the streams out yet for that river but it, it put the name in russian i think they called it uh winding river or or something but there's a russian name for it if you put that in um like lure fishing and the russian name for that for that water in russian fishing for it you might get a lot of spinning ones you know Yeah, I'm with you, Zeus. Uh, I do a lot of float fishing, actually, in, in real life, uh, so it's not too bad for me, but I can, I can understand where it's like watching paint dry and stuff uh, if you're not into that sort of fishing. Um, but in, in, in the right conditions, it, it, it's, it's, you know, I've got a clip, actually, on the, if you're in the Twitch thing, I've got a clip where, I, where I'm only uh, fishing just under the telescopic rod with an 18 zook and a, a, a blood worm, what I dug up. <laughs> and uh, I got a nice uh, half a pound, half a kilo um, silver bream, which was like five horseshoe, and it all exciting sort of thing, but... There's more. There's more action, and and you're on the go all the time with spinning. I do understand that. So, um, yeah, I agree. My, my yellow and green and gold heaven creek spoons do well. They do. Was that a stream, Zeus? I won't mind watching that stream myself if it was a stream. Um, oh, well done, mate. Leaderboard Park, Winding River. But was that right at the end of that, uh, like, uh, bridge and all the, all the, all the, to that the camp, yeah, and it cuts you all the way back up to town. At least you've not so far for weighing in, huh? you know, if it goes sell it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, it's good, guys. I appreciate you being in the uh, chat and. Ah, right, by the campfire, yeah, that's that, like the next band. I actually, the, right at the. Furthest, as far as you can go, uh, there's like a bridge, um, and you can just get under the reeds and look at the underneath the bridge. Um, all right, yeah, it's a lagoon, isn't it? Sorry, I said it, I said it, yeah. Um, it's a shame we're not on that water. I could uh, actually um, point and say where we are, and I could try a few spoons. Yeah, there's some monsters. I've, I've been fishing here for. Uh, I've been fishing. This, I've had some nice. Uh, I don't think I can even fuck by. I think I've had some nice. Let me see. Sorry, it looked a bit laggy then, guys. Um, lost where I am. There we are. Down there somewhere. Right, you guys carry on. I'll just uh, see it. what. I can get. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, is there anything you'd like to see on this uh, on this stream now, or should I leave that? Should I close the stream and start another? Or, um, we don't have enough of that. We'll just have to buy that one. That's what we see. Any any requests for this water? I've got. That's what we see. Um, uh, Trying to read the <laughs> the my biggest shit's up at yeah that's they paid really well then uh, chub on the um, that's great that don't worry about that so if you get a few um, there is um, there is like a sandbank a long sandbank with some reeds. Some reeds in, 
there's a long sandbank with with reeds and just like one set of reeds green the thing I, I can't think of the number but kp shimino uh, does uh one showing how to catch chub the and I'm, i know you might be bored with uh with the fishing rod there but it, you can have 20 chub out really really quick just under the tip of the rod i know it's a bit boring but it soon get your money up to to buy more lures to try further downstream and that um they seem to be catching the zander uh, in between where the campsite are um through the night time i think between all then stuck up trees in that where it goes deep if you look at it i think it's off memory i think it's a six meter deep uh like hole uh pool uh on the bend near the camp and uh fishing on the left hand side of of the sand on that bank casting straight across at the two uh two like dead trees in the water that if you try all them techniques what we've just showed twitching and and uh stop and go and then just even straight retrieving in um i think headshot gaming uh it comes to mind um uh, i think he's streaming and he did a full ver a full series of spinning on that on that bend uh, i know he used a red which did he use he used a red um lure i'm trying to think which one it was let's have a look um i'd be guessing guys if i, if I said it I think his name's Headshot Game, and he, he was on YouTube, uh, Russian Fishing for one of the early early ones uh, showing how things went when it was all Russian. Um, if you want any tips, Zeus, uh, KP Shimino's doing uh, a tutorial for beginner. I don't not calling you a beginner, uh, but he's he will be doing every stage of every lake so if he'd say he does winding river he'll do winding river spinning and he'll show every fish how to catch it where to catch it on every fish on that thing so kp shamino s-h-a-m-i-n-o i think uh kp uh, up front uh he's a pretty uh regular streamer and uh he does he does do good uh instructional uh you know like good streams what you can you can learn off i learned a lot off fishing planet uh watching his streams and, and stuff you know <clears throat> let's see i'm, str I'm struggling to read the thing uh, All right, I've I've seen difference with uh, stop and go in the deep in in the deeper pools. What I've been on the last two on the last two lakes that I've been uh, on, but um, yeah, it, I think I think it, I think if you if you lose in the water long enough, it will attract you know it, it will attract the fish. I think they're on a time a sort of thing as well, uh, but depending where you cast in. The speed you're traveling through, the depth of, of that you're traveling through that water. Um, but yeah, stick at it. If one lure is not working, change it up, change your speed, change your um, the depth of, of the water you're working. Uh, don't stick with one. Another thing what uh, was mentioned is uh, if you catch, Gene was saying, if you catch like 100 chub, the chub will go off so you'll you'll struggle catching them um and you won't get a lot by selling them because uh, i think the game's aimed at you swapping the fish you target so they want you to like catch catch your chub and then catch a bream then catch a, a trout and catch a you know a, 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 a tension i don't think they want you targeting fish sort of thing so 
Um, that's one thing. If you do catch a lot of fish of the same type, don't sell them all at once. Sell them in tens. Uh, that way you don't get... Um, you, do, you get the most money you can get from them. That. Yeah, it's something to have... Uh, straight retrieve is uh, is the one I've seen used most on on other people's streams, um, and it, it's probably the the go to the go to um, retrieve for. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think if the game's telling you something um so have you when you've been doing a slight a, a slow retrieve or a straight retrieve have you had any notifications uh like over the power bar that you're actually doing a slow retrieve because i've tried different lures at different speeds and i, I get no notification um over the power bar of the fish that you're doing something right and i think the game is telling you when you hit the bottom the game tells you uh you're on the lure hit the bottom all, all that when you're doing uh a twitch it tells you you're doing a twitch when you're doing a uh stop and go walking uh, walk the dog it's t the game's telling you you're doing something right i believe uh but i know that reeling in slow and reeling in fast can catch fish and it does very well but no i've not had a slow retrieve and I, I, i'm just wondering whether it's actually in game whether it's there to actually no i don't i agree with both the uh, zeus and and mag I, I don't think it, that that's in the game i know the fish will uh, uh, fish very well on that uh, Zeus, so you're catching well, and and Mike, uh, you you've obviously uh, used that uh, retrieve. It's one I've not actually used, and I probably catch more fish just doing straight retrieve. But I've I've, I've been more at trying to find out what notifications in the game. I've tried to flick the rod, you know, even these spoons you can't twitch sort of thing. So I've been trying to. Uh, do the right mouse button to see if there's a lift and drop in there or anything like that but um, maybe we found them all maybe that's them all that's why I, I mentioned if you know any other notifications that pop up, pop up with any lure fishing um, I think this is the way they gain these uh, you know these big big char and stuff I think they're uh, All right, the jig step, the secret is just lifting it off the bottom. If you watch the line, uh, Mike, um, I can demonstrate it again as we're doing it. Um, really heavy lures. If you if you watch my rod, you'd laugh. Uh, really heavy lures. I'll, I'll go in the boat and, and, well, I don't have to go in the boat. I can cast from here, actually. Um, you might actually see the action better from here. Uh, what we got on? I put an heavy lure on. What's the struggle to actually get the the some of, one of these? What I made really heavy, heavy them thirty gram. That's heavy, heavy to bounce. Um, right. This is this is heavy to bounce. What 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 actually happens is um, I'll try and bring it closer. Than that. I didn't mean to cast it that far. Can we see the lure on the bottom? That's really. Can we see it yet? I can hear a lot of chings, and I have to come out of the game. Um, let's just see. All right, yeah. Uh, Zeus, I've got. Um, yeah, there's. Um, there's walk the dog which is you get with floating lures uh, if you watch the beginning of this uh, stream Zeus I go through all the ones I, I know of which is um, 
It's walk the dog, twitch, stop and go, and jig step. I think that's it, isn't it? Four or five, I think. All right, let's see what I can get with this. This um, I don't mind um, closing this. Room. I don't know where I put that lure. I thought I'd put it down on the floor so we could watch it bouncing while we what speed have we got? Let's have a look. Okay, we're trying to get this lure to come. Can you see that, guys? Where the lure's on the, the bottom there? It should just be at the edge of the side. Right, to get a jig step, it's a case of getting the sp enough speed in the reel to bounce that lure off the ground. It doesn't have to come much off the ground. But when you reel, you see that's dragging and not actually, it's not actually lifting, it's actually dragging it across the way. So if you go crazy and put the full the full speed on, and, and the mouse is giving up like, can you see it bouncing now? You can either see it. Try again. I'll try again, not cast it so far. Let's have a look, get an angle where we can see it. Right, that's a really heavy lure, and if we bounce it, it should be able to. Right, so I can just see it there. It's still dragging that, so it's not a good one to do a, a demo on. Mm. That's a fish going for it, believe it or not. Why don't you fish it? Come on. Do you see it jig step then? I've, I've got full speed. Sorry about the noise, guys. Great full speed and shift press to actually, because it's such a heavy lure, to get it to actually bounce, it, it, you see the actual how much my rod's bending. Don't be scared of putting that amount of force on, on the actual. This is 50 and and full full. Uh, thingy but that's the sort of thing what will you see it bouncing there's a fish on that oh right well, broken that that shows you mate that shows you <laughs> god but you saw it was it was bouncing let's let's have a see yeah <laughs> thanks did you see the fish what snapped me out then it looked a nice fish that it just goes to show that these chinese hooks are no good <laughs> that's what the uh genes explained in the uh I'll watch that video back. Um, that's a really heavy 30 gram lure, but if you have enough speed in the actual, if you have enough speed, yeah, yeah, uh, the fish, if you if you watch this video back, a nice decent fish come to take that. Uh, this is one of the early beginning hoops that you can, you know, the lures you can make. You make your own lures in the, um, in the in the like uh, repair shop, you know where you repair rods and reels and stuff. In it, one of the links at the top in that shop has a second part. I don't think they were too small. I think they just. I'll, I'll have to watch the video back, but I think they were just the cheapest look. The cheapest treble look I could get to, just to to make a bait. Um, that's one of the. I'll go back in the game. Um, if you watch that back when when I close the, uh, yeah, this is no icon now. It'll be showing up as a as a broken. Can you see it's showing us broken now? That's a broken 
Hamme Novo Novo No <laughs> can't even pronounce it. So you'd have to change that up. Uh, I brought one already. Um, the let's have a see what boots were on that. I must get a second screen on this thing. Uh, I'd like to craft my own loose at some stage. Must be expensive getting the skills up and buying all the videos. It, it's it's one of the I think it's something I've not got into because I've not had enough money to do. As you can as you've seen uh, Mike, uh, I've spent too much money on food and and stuff like that. Uh, I'll try to demonstrate the uh, stop and go and uh, where can I go from here? So um, just for if Zeus is still there, I'll just quickly why why I'm here, I'll just go through the 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 things he's not seen. Um so I've got a floating lure here. Um Zeus so floating lure. I'll just show you the walking the dog if you're there. Um this is just casting in, it's a floating lure, so it floats on the top of the water. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too fast. Uh, go about just fishing some like that. Um, the loo is out there, if you can see the ripples. Uh, and all it is is slow retrieve with a flick to the side, and that's walking the dog. Okay, that's walking the dog uh, with a floating lure. The next one is um, I'll do a stop and go uh, with. Oh. Yeah, I'm not reeled in enough. Okay. Um, do a stop and go with the easy floating. The easiest way I find of doing it. If we've enough depth of water, is the floating funky minimal. Just uh, check. I have to minimize out the game just to check your messages, but I appreciate you being here. Uh, the walk, the dog. Yeah, I just. What fish would you use for that method? Uh, t things what take take lures off the top water, all the trout. Uh, I've done really well. Uh, if you, if you what, look earlier, I was doing more the dog, and what, I think we had a a, a, a grayling. Uh, but I've had a five and a half, a five and a half pi pike off that five and a half kilogram. That's correct. Uh, uh, oh, is that sorry, Mike? Um, um, yeah, uh, what Mike just said is is correct. You, you, if you've not got the stuff in in uh, your shop on your venue, you may have to drop down to the other venues you've already uh, opened and uh, buy your stuff from there. If I go into this shop, there'll be stuff what's not there. This is just demonstrating the stop and go. I think. You know this one, Zeus, do you? Um, I did this a bit faster, I think. That's the way. Uh, Gene said, it'll work as long as you don't hit the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, it'll become a jig, a jig step. Uh, that's too fast. Let's do it down a bit. Try it with three because I don't know if we've got the depth. We may not have the depth of it, but you can see the action of it. It's stopping it before it goes to the. Yeah, I don't think we've got the depth though. I'll go to the end of the pier. Um, let's cast it there. We should have enough depth there. Go this way. One, two, three. Four. I usually do four to start the the, the sink off, and then if it it should display. If it doesn't, I'll have to do it again. I think we're into a fish guard again. I can't demonstrate without catching little fish. Little put this one. I'd be interested in watching the other one. Oh, it's a nice perch. I'd be interested in watching the other. Uh, stream that uh, just to see what 
it looked like a, a nice little salmon, but um, what took the thing? I don't, I don't think it has to be big to break the, the egg, actually. You see the shelf there? Uh, that's the shelf I actually, that's the 10 meter shelf I can show you on the, we've just, I've just walked up to the edge of this and you're actually looking at this, I think. Again, a lot of kinds. <laughs> um, yeah, walk the dog. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Ooh, that one seems pretty neat. Dives when you... That's right, it, it's it's like a diving lure, but it's a floating lure, and then when you're at rest, it goes up. On the way up, I've not actually managed to get the speed right yet. I'll just carry on demoing that, uh, so it's for you. If, if we can get the depth, I'll, I think that should be enough if I, um, if I get my rod. Right. Okay, um, I'll cast it a bit further. If we can get over that depth. Right. With the right speed, uh, Michael, Mike, Mike will tell you the speed here. I forgot myself. Um, I think it was around. Try that. Right. So I do four. So one, two. I think we're in again, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. So that's not doing enough. That's. So that's. <laughs> I just demoed the other one where you're straight room. Uh, that's slow straight. Little, little perch again, I think. Okay, little perch. Thank you, little perch. And I'll just do this one cast. Right, when that's casting like that, uh, Zeus, that's on top of water. So, when I'm reeling now, this is taking that lure down. I usually go about four, four reels at a certain speed, and on the way up, it should show stop and go, which it did. And then once I see the stop and go, I do another three. Stop and go, stop and go. I'll do two to see if it does it. Right, the two didn't do it then, you see. So I'll go back down to four and get it start again. Right, and then once I see the word, I do three. I'll try to do three. And once I see the word again, I'll try to do three. Uh, uh, you can just see it coming up there now. I don't, yeah. One, two, three. And that's what's happening when you're doing them three retrieval days, the stop and go. So once I see it, one, two, three. Might not get this one, guys. It might be too close to the, it's on the surface, I think, no. Yeah. But yeah, that's what that does. Uh, I'll just check what you said. Uh, so unfortunately, I've not got messages on my uh, screen. I have to keep uh, minimizing the game and checking with the message. But um, that one's, yeah. Well, if you can't catch it. Yeah, it never happens in real life, does it, Mike? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, good demo of stop and go using floating diamond. Right, so. If you didn't see, it's a lot harder the other way around. Uh, I did the demo it earlier in the, but there's no, no harm in trying again. Um, the opposite to the floating funky minnow is the sinking funky minnow, which is this one. What this one does, uh, Zeus and Mike, uh, Mike knows, I think, but what this one does is it sinks to the bottom, but when you reel, it comes to the surface or it comes up to a working depth. So this will work every time you, you, you reel, it'll, it'll come up to four meters in the water. Every time you, you stop reeling, it'll drop back down to the riverbed. So I'll try and demo a stop and go with this. Now, as I start reeling in, it'll go to four meters. But as soon as I stop reeling, that's sinking now. If you watch the line, that's sinking down. So I'll get my working depth. One, two, three. Oh, I've got a fish again, guys. Can you, you two come again tomorrow? <laughs> um. I might have to let it off. I've minimized the outfit. Try and get to the screen. Let's see if we can get it in. It's a little pop. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, um, I'll just check that message and have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, we'll, tr we'll try the. Uh... Thanks, guys. I, I hope you're having as much fun as me laughing in. Um, right, so to activate this. Uh... Oh, never. <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing tomorrow, guys? Uh, I've fa fancy fishing uh, all day. Are you available? This looks like a flatfish. Oh, this is coming. It's a perch, I think. That's got a belly like me. Okay. If that says well. And close it straight. No, I'm looking. At, maybe I should just cast on the banking and, and you know on the on the grass and see if I can. Right. So uh, we do have Twitch, which you know about. That's just com continuous reeling and right click every second on the. Right. So that's Twitch, in which you probably knew about, and uh, and that fortunately didn't get anything. So that's the twitching. Uh, we've done walking the dog, we've done the stop and go floating. This is a sinking. Uh, ah, that's something else. Did you see the speed up? Uh, you get that by pressing shift. Um, so that's like speeding up the retrieve. So say I cast it out. That's something I forgot to show. Say I cast out and I'm reeling in like that. I can press shift and I get a speed up notification. Did you notice that? And that, that can... Say you're coming up a shelf and you need to get, and it's just stuck to the, it's just stuck to the ground and not lifting. If you press shift, you will get the speed up notification. So I think that's another useful uh, notification. Uh, that's the speed up. Uh, it works with everything. Uh, if you use the shift button while you're reeling, you will bring fish in faster, smaller fish than that. If you use the shift button when you're when you're um, trolling in a boat, the shift will make the boat go faster and stuff like that. Let's see if I can get the stop and go going there. We have one, two, three. There's the stop and go, guys. I'm thinking one, two, three. One, two, three. I have to just miss one then, actually, guys. One, two, three. Might be touching floor, actually, and get the jig step. One, two, three. You can just about see what's what's going on there. You saw the, the stop and go at the early thing. Uh, the jig step, stop and go. I'll just cast on this. Let's cast on this thing so that you can see the actual should be down there on the ground. I don't know if you can see it. Just bouncing the uh, should be able to get the jig step going there. A fish coming for it, guys. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, try again. <laughs> I'm just trying to do it on the. In fact, that's a better place over there. You can see, you'll be able to see what's happening with the jig step. There's a really, really deep. Can you see this basin here? There's a really deep hole here. About, I don't know how deep it is, but it's really deep. Uh, there and the. Uh, sorry, the that side and this side. Can you see the hole there? I've I've tried put uh, swim feeders in there to see if I could get any good bream, but not managed. I'll just see if I can, I can cast this on this on this blue uh, slab and uh, right it's just landing there I'm not sure if you can see it so I'll just speed it up a little bit so we get the actual you should see that can you see how the line lifts in the water and then drops down now that I think I'm, all, I'm, I'm lifting too too much so I usually drop that down a bit, and that usually gets the stop and go. Uh, not stop and go, the jig step. And that's the twitch.
<laughs> Yay, no problem, Zeus. Uh, catch you later, mate. Uh, great fun and uh, good luck on the Winding River. Try try anything you can afford, mate. Get a, get a, a various. What look at the look at the records for that water and and you can see what what you know. Say say on this water what we're fishing on. Um, on the water we I'm fishing on, you can actually just press escape, go to records on this bottom, and Winding River will be there. And any with lures on, just click it and, and see what lures are catching the records. These are lures what are catching these fish. Uh, so that's like a starting point. And uh, have a chat with the guys where they're catching them. Uh, have a read of the forums, you know, and and these are the lures for if you, if you it's a new water and you're not sure, you know, maybe you can only buy one of of all them because they're very expensive and you might not have the ability yet. Yeah, you know, you're spinning, so you may need uh, jigging uh, to open these up. Uh, but you do know. Uh, that when you when you've leveled up you do know you've got points to add to you need to put your skill skill points up when you when you uh, level up you will get a point in these points not not the goal but in these points except for spin fishing um when you level up you'll have points there so you should have three or four points if you've not already allocated them using a spinning reel and and these will open up the more fish you catch with the spinning spin fishing the more the more of these unlock and then the the more you put on the spinning rod and spinning reel the more you put on these the the better you your casting will go and you know the the increase of everything and it's like a you know, like Warcraft or anything like that, where you need to put swordsmanship and you need to know, uh, like, str how strong you are. That this is similar sort of game. It's like a role-playing game. It's it, your skills. You've got certain strengths of each. That's your skills of your float fishing. That's your skills. So that's like saying swordsmanship. Uh, you know, how good you, your defense, your armor is, or anything, and. And stuff so uh you know bottom fishing just what points you have available think about it and put them on to things like using a spinning reel and uh, that when you put points on there it will it, it will all add to anything else what it uses a spinning reel like bottom fishing using a spinning reel so what if you put a point in there it goes in, in all three because you need a reel for uh you know the spinning and ledgering so things like that and using a, a bottom feeder and stuff um okay zeus he's probably gone by i've been <laughs> rambling on but it's been a pleasure mate um mike uh, i hope uh, you got a little bit of uh, some of out of this and and maybe we can find more uh you know more things that we need okay so see you guys i see you mate uh, thanks Zeus, for subscribing oh that's that's super mate appreciate that that's that's lovely um you can come again anytime uh i think you've been lucky duo you know the three musketeers will go as <laughs> Yeah, Mike, you've uh, and Zeus, you've both helped me out. Uh, yeah, oh, great, Mike. I'm going to close this stream now. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot. Gives a uh, you know, just look out for any. If there's any, uh, I'm new to this, but if there's any um, tips I can, you know, if if there's a water you want me have a go at, I'll need to fish a little while and get a few silver together. But I don't mind. You know, going on the first lake, second lake, any lake, you know, if there's something you want me to try or anything. Been a pleasure, Mike. Thank you so much, mate. Thanks, Zeus. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to close this off now. Cheers, guys. Uh, you've helped me have a really good uh, 
stream. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Zeus. Catch you later, guys. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Thanks, Mike. It, pleasure is mine, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, just drop us a message anytime, mate, and I'll uh, do the best I can for you, mate. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Cheers, guys. Thank <laughs> you.